when you gotta eat crow, you just gotta eat crow. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Kellerman is refusing to apologize to Carmelo Anthony, calling him washed, saying he didn't belong in a game of basketball, he wasn't that good. Allison apology after last night? Who would that be? Um, Carmelo Anthony, <laughs> are you familiar? He played in your city for a while. Okay. Absolutely not. I do not owe Carmelo Anthony an apology, and people need to stop with this foolishness. Recently, Carmelo Anthony has been hitting game winners in the bubble, showing everybody he still got a lot of fire and play in him. But in two of the first three games here in the NBA campus, Carmelo Anthony has hit massive shots yeah. for you guys. And I told you, I warned you guys many years ago, months ago, don't believe the hype, don't believe all these um, analysts, all these pro sports watchers, all these experts, the experts. Experts can get it wrong too, guys. Here's the thing, you gotta think for yourself and you have to come to your own conjectures at times. The fact that someone that people entrust with their basketball knowledge and acumen, like some of you guys, y'all listen to Stephen A. Smith, y'all listen to Max Kellerman, you think everything they say is gospel when it comes to sports. So if they're telling you somebody that can still play is unable to play and they suck, you're gonna believe that shit. Instead of you watching the games for yourself, you seeing what's going on. You know, it's one thing to say somebody can't play. It's another thing entirely to say they can't play and they're selfish and they can't play in this modern day bass. It's it was horrible what he did. Essentially, he went on a assassinate Carmelo Anthony tour and almost it almost it almost succeeded. You guys gotta remember this. Mike D'Antoni tried to get rid of Melo in many instances, especially in New York, to the point where he actually resigned from his job. A lot of things that happened in New York weren't Melo's fault, and Melo took all the blame. Even Iman Shepard could say he could attest to this. Iman Shepard said it himself, Carmelo took a lot of the blame for the stuff that didn't work. He won't blame. And there's times that I literally have told him, bro, why you ain't just, why you ain't? It's not my job to take food out of another man's mouth. I'll take the blame. Even if it's coach's fault, they'll fire him, they ain't gonna fire me. So not only did Mike D'Antoni try to assassinate Carmelo Anthony, then you had the whole Phil Jackson stuff. Oh, one of the head coaches, the defensive head coach for the Rockets, he was on that New York team. And guess what he did? In their defensive scheme, he put Carmelo Anthony in positions that he knew Carmelo Anthony couldn't really guard or defend on purpose. Stephon Marbury also, also confirmed that Mike D'Antoni and that coach tried to do the same thing to him. So this, this is all I'm trying to tell you guys is somebody saying that Melo can't play, i.e. Max Kellerman. Melo sucks. Melo's this. He can't do that. When the man is playing, they really you don't want to give him credit. You don't want to admit you're wrong. These are the guys that we're placing our faith in in terms of basketball. They're talking basketball like they know everything about basketball and completely missing the point, missing the boat on people that can actually play the game of basketball. Like, what if Carmelo wasn't Melo? What if he was, like, a D-leaguer or something like that? You're taking money off this guy's table. And to have the nerve not to apologize and humble yourself and actually admit that you were wrong, I don't ever want to hear anything come out of Max Kellerman's mouth ever, ever again. Like, period. Like, because you don't know basketball. And on top of that, you're not willing to admit when you're wrong. Millions of people watch their show and they're not willing to backtrack what they're saying. Because and you, you really got to look at it like this, the whole platform, because they're allowing him to say all this shit. So, I mean, I don't even know how much more I could explain how disgusted I am with the situation because he went on a we want to kill Carmelo out the game tour. And Melo still can play and still can ball and is proving it. You just need to put him in the right system, right steps, right defensive schemes and stuff like that. Not in, and Portland might not even be the right exact place that he needs to be. He still showed you he could play the game of basketball. So being a dick and saying a man can't play, trying to take food off the man table, trying to retire him earlier than where he he really needed to be, it's ridiculous. And Dame Miller said it himself. He said, "Look, this is no surprise to us. He can still play. He can still 
the game when it's what we expect of him? I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. You know, I think it's more disappointing that people are surprised by it. You know what I mean? He's a he's a Hall of Famer, like I said. Um, he's a great teammate, and um, that's what we expect from him. He's a Hall of Famer, guys. Yeah, Melo's a Hall of Famer. There's guys in, in the Hall of Fame right now that Melo has way better numbers than. So all this disrespect shit has to stop, A, and B, you just have to really think for yourself and understand that these analysts say shit for ratings. They want a rating. They don't want to tell you the truth about somebody. They just want a rating. You know that time when they were saying Melo couldn't play? Melo had numbers better than, I believe it was over 100 players. His numbers, rebounding and scoring numbers were better than over 100 players, but he can't play in the NBA. Who's Junction? Who's Me Super? Like, comment, subscribe.